Welcome back. There are growing fears of a Russian plan to launch a false flag operation in Ukraine to justify a military escalation. And joining us from Rome with more reaction on this is Newsmax correspondent Alex Salvi. Alex, great to have you in. John Bianca, good afternoon. Ukrainian officials today again voicing concerns about the prospect of Russia staging explosions at the Zaporizhia power plant, building on other reports suggesting that a false flag operation may involve more than just one target inside of the country. Officials in Kyiv say that Russia is preparing to strike the location of the Chernobyl power plant and then blame the attack on Ukrainian forces. A statement released this week claims that Moscow wants to create a man-made catastrophe with devastating effects far beyond the battlefield. Russian forces maintain control of the Zaporizhia power plant and the Chernobyl zone, the latter facility the most likely target. Ukraine says that it has no plans to attack either location, maintaining that the Kremlin is the sole threat to these plants. But the Russian military is vocalizing its accusation that Ukraine is planning to detonate a dirty bomb with the help of Western powers. According to the information we have, two organizations in Ukraine have specific instructions to create the so-called dirty bomb. The works are in the final stage, and in addition, we have information about contacts of the Ukrainian presidential office with British representatives on the issue of possibly obtaining the technology for creating nuclear weapons. Most analysts are calling this allegation preposterous, acknowledging that such a move could have devastating effects for all of Europe. Using the 1986 disaster as a guide, the fallout of such an attack would spread radioactive winds across the entire continent. Ukraine, Russia, and Belarus would be the hardest hit, but the effects of a hypothetical blast would be felt all the way to the United Kingdom. It would be an impossible tragedy to ignore and would likely trigger a response from affected NATO countries, which, according to Russia, might be the entire purpose of a false flag operation. Attacks on Ukrainian cities against civilians. Now, the head of NATO says the claims being made by Russia are absurd, flat out rejecting any accusation of Ukraine using a so-called dirty bomb. He says one thing is clear, however, the fact that Moscow is evidently looking for an excuse to ramp up its attacks in the war-torn country. John, Bianca. Alex, thank you.